Hi everyone, this is Penny with In Stitches with Penny. I want to show you one of my favorite pattern companies. It's a PDF pattern company, so you won't actually order a pattern, a hard copy, to be mailed to you. You can download it right away, print it. It's super easy to put together. They even have a little video that we may even go through this tutorial. And I just kind of wanted to show you my favorites and they're also having a 40% off sale for Mother's Day and this starts I believe today May 2nd and I already have a few items in my cart and I'll share with you when I'm purchasing today and I purchased a few last week and the one there's one pattern that I bought last week that I adore and I've already made it three times so you know when I can wear out a pattern you know I love it so I just wanted to kind of show you what they have to offer and again right now it's 40% off I do have an affiliate link listed below so you can click on your favorite pattern I thought we would go through a few and this one is in my cart today I just thought it was really pretty so if you click on it and then click this little magnifying glass you can take a look at what other people have made um, in their eyes so this one's really pretty it looks like a little stripe knit looks really soft love the color it's very flattering you can make it longer usually there's length differences options and sleeve options so you don't have to buy just one pattern. This is really cute. I like those pants that she made with it. I'm assuming she made it. That top is really pretty. It has this little, this one little pleat on the side that just kind of gives a little extra give right in here. That's kind of where I need it. <laughs> That's pretty. You can just scroll through here and just kind of see what others have envisioned this pattern to be and how they made it. I love all the different fabrics. This one's really pretty. I like that a lot. So pretty and flattering. So you can make it into a dress, into it like a t-shirt. I thought this was really pretty. So just scroll through here and then you can see the different options. It gives you some different inspirations. Here's You've got two different fabric colors here. You've got a solid and the V here along with a print, a really pretty print. Just some up close, it's <clears throat> really pretty. That's really cute. It's a little cropped, so it just shows you the different options and lengths. That's really pretty. I like that a lot. So you kind of get the idea. Then over here on the side, it'll say, you know, it'll list the, the, the sizes what types of fabrics are recommended. So this one could be for knit or wovens, which could come in really handy. Full bust pattern pieces if needed. And it's a dolman style sleeve, which just means it doesn't have, um, doesn't have a seam going through here at the sleeve. You've got three lengths, shirt, tunic, and dress. It's a trimless pattern format, which I love. It has layers which means when you print it out you only need to print out what you want you can print it at home there's a large format file I have not tried that yet I just find it's just easier to print it at home but she's also added a projector file so if you like to do that and save money on printing then you have that option here so you can add it to your wish list or just simply add it to your cart so that's one that I think is really pretty. So let's go back. There's a pretty coat, the octave coat, and the sizes are just range from extra small usually to 5X. So that's super nice. And then you can blend the sizes together 
if you kind of cross the spectrum, kind of like I do sometimes, depends on the pattern. I thought this was really cute, just a little jersey, kind of a game day jersey. So you could make this for your favorite team. So let's go ahead and, and check this one out. Super cute, just real simple. So it's extra small to 5X, full best option, split hem. Here's your split hem right there. Short sleeve or three quarter sleeve, whichever you prefer. Shirt and dress length and no trim pages and layers. That's my favorite part of this company. That's really cute, just real comfortable. They do have a child size for this pattern as well. So you can make these for the whole family. I really like that stripe right there. That's really cute. Cute. That's my daughter's high school colors. <laughs> Those Halloween colors. So you could put Halton High School on there or something. <laughs> or just add something from your Cricut machine. This is really pretty. It's kind of a nice soft touch. Not really game day, but just fun and feminine. So you can kind of scroll through here and just see what inspires you. That's really cute. I like the tie-dye <laughs> look on that one. Now let's go back on this one. I noticed she had some pink stitching that just really adds uh, to the style. And you can just use a twin needle and sew along there. Makes it just perfect. So there's another one that we can look at. I think that one might be in my um, cart. I'll have to see. So just search through here. Find your favorites. I do have this one in my cart, I believe. I'll show you my cart in a minute. I do want to show you my favorite. I have purchased the Serenity sweater. I haven't made it yet, but I purchased that one last week. My favorite, let's see, let's find it. The one that I've made three. Oh, I did make this one last week, the Rhapsody. This is, yeah, see it says I've already purchased it. So that's a good, I, I like this little note here. So then you know, you don't have to purchase it again. It's probably in your file at home. So I did make this out of a crepe de chine. I did think it was tricky right here. Just, I went ahead and, and I'll show you a picture of it later. It turned out really nice. I took my time. I did do some hand basting, but since my fabric was crepe de chine, I found this to be really slippery. And though it did turn out, I think if you're a beginner, I wouldn't start out with this pattern. I would just because of this uh, neckline right here. However, the rest of it went together beautifully. So just my recommendation is just take your time. Go ahead and hand base. Do all that you can. Just, uh, and it does turn out really lovely. You can use the, the long straps. I ended mine right here because I just didn't have enough fabric to make the long ties right there. And that was the only reason. But it does turn out really, really cute. That's cute. I like that fabric a lot. It has a little pleat in the back, just allows a little more give. I find these patterns are flattering to, oh, that was cute. Did you see that? The little cat <laughs> headband there. I find Love Notions patterns are very flattering to for most women. Here you can kind of see, you can kind of tell that can be a little tricky. This part I did not feel was that tricky. The way they explained it on the instructions, it went together beautifully. And, you know, granted, I've been sewing for most of my life, and I did still find this just a little bit tricky. All right, so let's go back. So that's the Rhapsody, and I do believe that is a, uh, a re-release of an older pattern. It has a lot of options. Let's see if we can find, here's the line drawing. So you can see there's a dress pattern, different sleeves. There's like eight or nine different sleeves, different lengths. 
I mean, sky's the limit. You can do whatever you want with this pattern. It is really pretty and flattering. So let's pop back here. I'm still looking for the one that I love. Well, let's look at the classic t-shirt. Again, this is very similar to the laundry day tee, except it is just a little bit more fitted in the torso area. The other one kind of comes in and flares out just a little bit more, but you could totally adapt this pattern to do that. And then you can make it longer if you want. This does have three different sleeve options. Still a super nice pattern, but I really wanted to find the laundry day tee for you. Oh, found it. <laughs> I knew if we just kept at it, we would find it. So this is the one I've purchased so or not purchased so many times. I bought it once, but I've made it three times and I've got more plans for it. There's just so many ways you can make this pattern. Before we look at all the different options here, uh, let's look at the line drawing. This is really cute. That'd be fun going into fall, I think, or just a cool summer night. I've made this version. This is the one I love, and I also made it with a scoop. I made this version for my daughter, and with this fabric that has anchors on it, because she went on semester at sea when she was in college, and just fell in love with ships and sailing and all of that. So there's so many options, and there's this little high-low option. You can you can see that they've they drew it out here on the tunic and the dress. So you have three different lengths, one, two, three, three different sleeves. And then you've got this little cowl. So you've got a lot of options to just mix and match. I thought for summer, this would be really cute. Just have a little tunic, put it on with some shorts and sandals. And again, the sizing goes to 5X, so you have a broad range. And what I love best about this is I can buy one pattern and print different sizes for each of my family members that want this pattern made. And, okay, so I made this pattern, made this one right here with the scoop neck, because the V-neck took a little bit longer. The scoop neck in an hour. I couldn't believe it. I looked at the clock at 9.30 thinking, okay, I'm going to start this now. I wonder how long it'll take me. And I looked back at the clock once I finished and it was an hour later. So it, it really is a quick and easy sew. I do like to use my twin needle along the hem lines here and down through here. It just makes it very professional looking. Take your time with the V. What I did is I would sew it in here. I didn't go all the way around at the same time, which I typically do with a scoop neck. So I wanted to make sure this was in there really nice and crisp. And then I sewed the rest of it in. So don't feel like you have to do the whole thing at once. If you need to do it in pieces and even if you need to hand baste it, take your time. It really turned out nice. I was a little apprehensive about the v-neck because you're at this point, but it really wasn't that bad. So there's the laundry day tee. Let's look at all the different options. It's just a cute, flattering t-shirt. You can make it into a dress. You can make it into a top, a tunic. That's really cute. I like that fabric. Look at that. And she did a, a contrasting band here. Beautiful job on that V-neck right there. Love that. That's pretty fabric. Oh, man, that's really flattering. Love that. So no matter what your size is, whether you're super skinny or you just have a little fluff, it all looks great. Ooh, I love that. I love a good cheetah print. She put it with leggings. Some people put it with shorts. That's really cute. That's pretty. There's one with shorts. I love this. I love the stripe. 
And then look what she did here. She has the stripe going all the way around like that. That's beautiful. I love the things that she makes. I need to find out who that is. <laughs> because I, I, when I see something that she has on, I think, ooh, I want that. Like that. I want that. <laughs> so cute. You can just flip through here and just get all kinds of ideas to see if you think this would be something you would like to wear. Oh, this is cute. She did the little um, scoop here. Really cute. Nice job. Nice job right there. Sometimes you can get a little pucker right there, but if you take your time, what I did is I would sew down one side and then I came down and I would sew down the other one. Actually, I think I went up so there wouldn't be a pucker. And then I ironed that and then I stitched it around. Just, just a fun t-shirt. Let's see. Oh, I wanted to show, wanted to show you Karina's. She has a blog called Lifting Pins and Needles. This woman can sew. Oh my gosh. She is amazing. She does a lot of hand stitching. That's her key, I think. <laughs> That's pretty. That is super pretty. You can kind of see how this flows out. Just real flowy. Love that. So you get the idea of, you know, why I love love notions. They're just a wonderful pattern. They do have kids clothes, girls, boys, men's. And if you scroll down, then here, let's just show this. This is how you put the PDF pattern. See, there's no clipping, just tape it. Simple. really doesn't take that long. Now she's going to show you <laughs> how to do it really quickly. You just match them up according to those lines, tape it, then cut it out, and you're done. And it's a pattern piece you can keep. So you get the idea, it's really simple. And then there's some resources down here. There's some sew-alongs you can go through and see, it looks like we've got the Canyon Cardigan and the Whistler sew-along. Sew this one I believe is in my uh, cart. You've got some how-to videos, um, free, vid free videos, and I wonder, these are just free videos. Um, You've got the Laundry Day Tea, how to make that, the Rhapsody Sew Along. I did notice in the patterns, once I downloaded it, there was a link to the video on the pattern. Read the pattern carefully before you start sewing, because she's got a lot of tips in there. And there's some extras here. Um, just really love this company. I believe they're out of Illinois. Let's see, I think they are. There's Tammy. There's the, the head behind the whole shebang here. Love her. I've not met her, but I love her designs. She's just amazing. And then her assistant designer, um, Kelly. I would love to be able to just be behind the scenes and watch them <laughs> design. That would just be really, really fun. Okay, so let's go. Here's what I've chosen today. I kind of gave myself a $50 budget since they were on sale. So I came in here and I, I purchased, or I'm going to purchase the Vivace Dolman. That was that real pretty, let's see if we can get back to it. Yeah, I just thought that was really pretty. And I love that it's for knits and wovens because I have some wovens that I don't know what to do with yet. So I might try it out on this pattern. So let's go back. And I have the game day jersey for the kids, 2T to, to size 16. I have a classic tee, 
So I have a little granddaughter. I thought that would be really fun to make. She's probably a size 10. So, but you have size, the options to cut out 2T to 16. Oh, this was the pants, the Sabrina Slim Pants, I thought was really, really cute. Just something fun for summer. Just love all the different options. That's really fun. That's really fun. You can make it into a solid. I love all of that. <laughs> Just a nice, almost like a cigarette pant. Goes to the ankle. You could make it longer if you wanted, but the pattern shows to go to the ankle. Has a little back pocket here. And I believe it has a front zipper. That's, I love that so much. This is cute. Cute little option here. Just a fun little pant. If you need, need some pants. So it includes a fitting workbook because they are pants, so there's a little bit more fitting going on. Plain front and back or seamed front and or back. Optional front pockets that act as a control panel. Well, that's cool. <laughs> I think I like that. Optional back patch pocket or welts. Three hem options. Sits at natural waist, which I like. Use stable knits or stretch wovens with, with, with at least... 20% horizontal stretch, trimless pattern, layers, print at home, all the fun things. So let's go down here and look at the line drawing. So you've got several options. You've got this real slimming line if you want that. Or you could put different contrasting fabrics here. I usually, my pants, I usually like it just pretty simple. And then it looks like they have a maternity panel that you can add on if you're in that stage of life. I am not. I am way past that. <laughs> but I think that's a great option. So it goes from size 0 to 32. So let's look at the size. If we're not sure what a 32 is. Okay, so it goes from a 24 and a half inch waist all the way to almost 50. So that's a good range there. And just remember, the size of pants that you wear in retail is not the same as what you would wear here. So don't let this freak you out. <laughs> so love that. And I got the Rockford Ragland, just, just a fun top. Let's click on that one. Just liked the simplicity of it. It's kind of like the classic tee, except it has a raglan sleeve. The raglan sleeve has a seam going this way, whereas the classic, the laundry day tee and the classic tee has just a regular armhole. So that's the difference. A little more sporty. Tunic length with swing. So let's look at the line drawing. I thought this was cute. Look at that. It's got a little asymmetrical look there. So that was one of my favorites. The Harmony Blouse. I'm getting this one because it's made for wovens. The Classic Tee and the Laundry Day Tee are made for knits. And there's just times where I just want a nice blouse I can wear in a woven. So the difference is this back. You have this little keyhole to allow more room to get in the blouse. So I just thought that was really flattering. I'll probably make maybe that one. I haven't decided yet. Just thought it was a really nice pattern. So let's go back here. I have the Forte top and dress. I loved this. I just thought that was so pretty. All of them are pretty. I thought I loved that. It's got a little like handkerchief style right there. So let's look at the line drawing. Just a real pretty empire. Waistlines, very flattering. If you would like. This is really pretty. I could see this on my daughter, my youngest daughter. She likes this style. 
this style is not for me, but you might know somebody that would look beautiful in that. I just really liked this. I like how this elongates. And if you make it into a real flowy fabric, it'll just lay nicely. I don't know if I would use this sleeve. I would probably make this sleeve. I'm pretty simple when it comes to sleeves. I don't care for the bell sleeve on me. However, I love it on my youngest daughter. So just play around. You can make what you like, which is wonderful. And then again, you know, look at the size. You really don't need a lot of fabric. So let's see, view A, top. I would probably get two yards. I'm kind of, I, I tend to wear a large in Love Notions and it fits beautifully. But I always like to buy a little extra fabric. And light with medium weight knits with at least 25% stretch. So I'm buying that one today. <laughs> And the Canyon Cardigan, of course. I love all of these. This one's just kind of fun and flirty. I have one like this one from Chico's that I purchased years ago. And it is one of my favorites because of how this gathers right there just above the waistline. So here's the line drawing. I mean, sky's the limit on this so pretty so flattering and it, it elongates your body I just love that so I can't wait to make uh, make this canyon cardigan and it got, and again the sizes range is just phenomenal so this is my favorite pattern company <laughs> right now mainly because of the laundry day tea the simplicity of the patterns they're not too difficult. If you come into a difficult section, just take your time. Go ahead and research. Uh, Karina with Lifting Pins and Needles does a lot of little tutorial videos and hacks, so be sure to check her videos out. I'll find those, some of those, and list them below. But be sure to check out the 40% off for a limited time. It's for, for Mother's Day, so maybe you can make your mother a gift. Maybe you can gift her a pattern. Maybe, I don't know, <laughs> maybe, maybe you could make matching tops for you and your mom, or matching dresses, or, you know, the whole family. So just so much fun to make uh, these patterns, to sew these patterns. And I'll show you next what I made. So I hope you love Love Notions just as much as I do. Go to lovenotions.com and check it out. Thanks. Bye.